So you have a big shaft on which there are these small, small turbine blades which are mounted and they are rotating at thousands of RPM and at such high RPM and such high temperatures above 1000 degrees Celsius, they would be subjected to loading. So there is centrifugal force acting on each of the blades and there are hot gases passing over it. The scientists realize that the failure of the blade that happens because of high temperature deformation is what is called as creep initially engine manufacturers might have started with some material but then eventually they came to nickel alloys and then when they started making nickel alloys they realized that if it has a polycrystalline microstructure polycrystalline means let's say if you're looking at a microstructure you have lots of grain maybe hundreds of grains a grain is comprises of all of the atoms which are nicely arranged in one given pattern so they have one particular crystallographic orientation so they realized the creep failure happens sooner if you have a polycrystalline microstructure. They realize that most of the loading is happening radially. If, let's say, we do not have any grains which are perpendicular to it, that would also improve the life. Then they evolved the process to making columnar microstructure where you will have grains, but most of those grains would be single from bottom till the top. To make it a columnar grain, you cannot do it using a traditional casting process. You use something called as a bridge type of solidification process if you can control the solidification process such that the liquid solidifies in one direction then you can get the columnar growth so that was one thing scientists were like okay how can we make it one single grain how do we do that scientists figured out a way so that you know you can reduce the number of grains by starting your casting little bit away from your blade geometry this particular alloy was invented and then the blades they started manufacturing as single crystal single crystal means grain is just, is one. just one single grain wow okay so it was i think decades of work several industries you know working on their own so what was the impact after that material you got better properties you have better creep life so you can increase that temperature at which the gases are exiting the combustion chamber so you can now take those temperature higher so increase the efficiency of the planes so now you increase efficiency your fuel consumption reduces the flight duration cost cost the efficiency increase so your power increase nice planes can go faster you can travel longer distances with the same amount of fuel 